Hi, welcome to How Tuesday at Lori's Country Cottage. My name is Lisa. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the 10 Sisters Easy Piecing Grid to make this fun and easy spool wall hanging. 10 Sisters is a company run by Carmen Geddes. She comes from a family of 17 kids, 10 sisters and seven brothers, thus the name of her company. Easy Piecing Grid was a great demo we saw at Quilt Market. If you've made the Mondo or Midi bag, you know the process for using the Easy Piecing Grid by 10 Sisters, but we're gonna use this grid to make full size quilts. The foundation itself is printed, it's lightweight, and it's fusible. The great thing about 10 Sisters is every pattern that you would like to do, you can do in four sizes. The grid comes in half inch finished, one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch finished. Every pattern tells you how many panels you need. So whether you're doing it in one inch, two inches, or any other size, if you need nine panels, you need nine panels of whatever size you're doing. Each pattern gives you the finished size for each size of grid, plus the fabric requirements. So we have, the grid comes on a roll, we've cut it into panels. So you come in and you say, I want to make this pattern. I need 12 panels and I want the one inch size. And that pattern will tell you what your finished size is going to be. Every panel, no matter what size, is nine squares by 14 squares. Now, some of the patterns include half square triangles and they give you instructions in the books for the method of making four half square triangles at a time. The great, another great thing about 10 Sisters is their website. It is loaded with videos. You will get all the information you need and I should have watched it before I uh, watched the videos before I made my spools. The patterns on the website are either free or a dollar and you can download them whenever you like. They also have books and we brought three books back from market. The first is 10 quilts for 10 sisters. There are 10 quilts. She's named them after her sisters. These are very traditional quilts, almost vintage. Then seven brothers block party. So she, she named a quilt for each of her brothers. Th these are more, <clears throat> excuse me, traditional block quilts. Then our favorite, 10 Sisters Presents Quilts for Kids. These are adorable quilts. You have whales, elephants, a fox, an owl, a hedgehog, there's a giraffe. There's even an I spy quilt in this book. And remember, every pattern in the book you can make in four sizes, whatever size you want really easy. Also, you can use your computer to pixelate any picture you have. Once you pixelate a picture, you can use the grid to make a quilt. Now, have you seen Tilda's embroidery fabric quilt? We saw it at market in three different colors. If you join me for Facebook Live, I showed you them live. Here's a picture of the quilt. You can find the pattern for free on tildesworld.com. And it, you, you can make it using this grid. By absolute coincidence, the Tilda's World quilt is using a nine by 14 grid, which these panels are. There's also a video 
at 10 talking just about making that quilt. Well, before I tackle a great big quilt like that, I thought I'd make the spool. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make the spool using the 10 Sisters Easy Piecing Grid. Here are the supplies you'll need to do the little spool by 10 Sisters. It uses one panel in whichever size you want. You'll need the appropriate size squares, fabric for the background, the spool, and then the thread color. You'll also need some border strips, binding and backing. You'll want to use an applique pressing sheet because it's a fusible foundation. You'll need a good pair of scissors like your Karen K. Buckley blue scissors, something that is sharp right to the point. And then I used the Petite Press mini iron, but after watching the videos from 10 Sisters, a regular iron would have worked just as well. My little spool has one and a half finished squares, so my squares were cut two inches. I also needed half square triangles for my spool. Go ahead and make your half square triangles the appropriate size. In the instructions, she suggests using glue if you're going to lay your pieces on the foundation and then you have to carry it to an ironing surface. My project was small enough that I didn't use the glue at all and I just had someone help me carry it to the ironing surface later. Place your grid with the fusible side up that's bumpy side up. I took all my squares and centered them in the squares on the grid. You'll see that the squares are a little bit larger and they do that on purpose so that you have less bulk in your seams. Once I placed all my squares, I took a picture and set my phone to grayscale so I could make sure that everything was balanced. Here it is in color. I used an applique pressing sheet to fuse my squares down. I was really happy that the glue is not really heavy and my applique pressing sheet did not get dirty in between. I didn't have to lift it, peel glue off, and then place it down again. The glue stays on the foundation. Now, fold on the line right sides together. There's a dotted line there. It doesn't matter which direction you go first. Just choose one and fold on the line. Now you're gonna to wanna to stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Don't use a scant quarter inch, use a regular quarter inch. Continue folding on the line, right sides together, and sew all of your lines. Here it is, looking at it on the right side. And here it is on the back. Now you need to take your scissors and clip in between all the blocks in the seam allowance. Make sure you don't clip your stitches. All right, I've clipped all the seam allowances and I've done that so that I can press from the back now. You want to press each row in alternate directions. I used my petite press iron to do this and it worked well. But after watching the video from 10 Sisters, there's a lot easier way and you can use your regular size iron. Simply press your first row in the correct direction. Make sure you don't touch the foundation that is extra on the outside. It still has glue on it. Once you press the first row, take that and flip it underneath. That exposes the next row to the edge and you can press it in the opposite direction. That would have been a lot easier than what I did. Now you're going to flip each row right sides together again by folding on the dotted line. And look at that, the seams naturally nest. Stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance again. Stitch all of your columns. Press all of your seams in one direction. There it is on the right side. Now I cut my border strips the right length and stitch them on with a quarter inch seam allowance. Here it is with the borders attached. Let's talk about those half square triangles. I didn't bother to watch any videos ahead of time or do any tutorials. I just put my pieces on and stitched. I didn't recognize that my points didn't match till I was all done. 
After watching the videos at 10sisters.com, I can see now how to do it properly. The trick for me was I was stitching with a scant quarter inch. If I would have stitched with a full quarter inch seam allowance, my corners would have been perfect. And here's my completed wall hanging with binding. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the Easy Piecing Grid from 10 Sisters. I can't wait to tackle a bigger project. And having watched the tutorials at 10sisters.com, I am really confident that I can make any of the projects that I want. All I have to do is decide which one to do. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me for How Tuesdays at Lori's Country Cottage.